Okay, so welcome back Neo Buggy viewers and uh, we are here of day two at the World Championship of Qualifying and we're on board in heat number one. We are currently following with Cody King around the end of the straight, working his way right hand side over, over the washboard. Looks like he's got himself in a little bit of traffic out of the books. And he is being followed by the X-ray car of Martin Bayer. So we join on board with him, working our way through the centre of the park. You can see just going out of shot, Ryan Cavallari up front. Ryan Cavallari takes this heat in a 16-10-18. Track is slightly slower today. Guys are struggling to get into the 37 second laps, the last heat of the day. I believe the track was fastest. You can see as they work their way around the end of the straight there, a little dark patch on the track is where the puddles were this morning. First heat on track was heat number six, and they were actually coming off with dirt on the cars. So as we stay on board, Martin Bear, Cody Kang working their way through the center of the park. Looks like they're coming up onto the JQ car of Joseph Quagrain. Cody gets a little bit out of shape. So Martin going to be right on his gearbox now as they work their way into the left hand side hairpin. Up over the dangerous double. Both drivers down through the line nice and safe. As we pan around the track, we're now going to pick up. Car coming onto the straight. It's going to be David Ronnefolk. Again, David struggling here just as he did yesterday. David posting a 16 laps in 10.31. So he's still struggling to find that pace that he had in practice. As he works his way through the center of the park, up over the double single. You can see just going out of shot, the TLR car of Dakota Fend. Fend again, one of these drivers who seems to be struggling come qualifying. Fend ended up with a 16 laps in 10.32. Again, like I said, lap times have got a lot slower today after the rain last night. So as David works his way around the end of the straight, up over the double, through the little uh, wet patch on the apex, into the raised tabletop, and down through Laguna S. Runs a little bit wide, you can see under braking. Runs a bit too quick in that uh, mound. As he comes into the uh, option section, through the S section, and down into the left hand side again. Dakota Fend up front. Fend and Ronnefolk posting fast laps 37.7 from Ronnefolk and a 38.2. And you can see David coming in for fuel and struggling to get into the pit lane. So another slow lap and clips the exit twice as he comes out. Working his way right hand side. So a, a very slow pit lap from Ronnefolk running wide also on the tabletop. So maybe a little bit of pressure by the uh, starting to be felt by the young Swede as he works his way in front of the rostrum again double single looks like he's working up onto the gearbox of uh, Marco Natale the Italian as he comes into the kicker left hand side down through the dangerous double safely through so a, a lap to forget from David Ronnefolk there as he comes into the first corner, right hand side. We're going to pan round and we're going to pick up with young Dakota Fenn working his way through the option line. Again, Dakota Fenn 16 in 10.32, finishing fifth in this heat, just behind David Ronnefolk. And he is still, again, trying to find that pace that he had in practice as we get a uh, car running back to the pits. Looks like Carsten Keller. So Carsten, the uh, German who came out swinging at the Euros a couple of weeks ago, made the main. Seems to be having a couple of engine issues in this one. It is again very hot today. The wind is uh, kicking around a little bit. But after last night's rain, it seems to have slowed the track up quite a lot. So Dakota Fenn working his way down through the dangerous double, left hand side. And we're going to stay on board as he comes in for fuel. Very quick fuel stop from Fenn that time. Clips the pipe coming out, gets just in front of the uh, back marker. And we're going to pan around again. Who are we going to pick up? 
Looks like that's going to be the Agama car of Darren Balloonfield. So Darren yesterday having a couple of slower runs. Managed to get himself into uh, the top 20, I believe, in one round. As he comes in for a fuel stop. Good stop from him. He's going to come out right behind, looks like, Ryan Cavallari. Cavallari actually going to take this heat. The 16 in 10, 18. Darren clipping the pipe and rolling it over there. So we're going to stay on, side, uh, stay on board with the new associated car, Ryan Cavallari, working his way through the centre of the park, up over the double single. Cavallari finishes with a 16 in 10, 18 in this round. Uh, 37, 9 hot lap, so struggling to make it into those 37s. Only uh, two drivers in this heat. Ryan Cavallari and David Ronnefolt posting 37 second laps. Everybody else with 38s. In for fuel comes Cavallari this time. Great stop from Numenor and uh, his dad. So off and away he goes, right hand side. Famous yellow and red colours. Opted not to use the um, Proline clear wing. Gone back to a standard black. Uh, I believe it may be upgrade. But I can't be sure. Working his way into the options section. Up over the roller, into the double, through the S, onto the kicker. And into the left hand side. Only two spots on the track seem to have held the water. Um, one around the end of the straight, so as we come down now, and you can see just there as we pan round in the option line. So we pick up David Ronnefolk again on the left hand side. Here he comes down through the line. Looks like he's coming up again onto the gearbox of Joseph Quagrain. So running right, the young Swede into the right-hand side through the wash rod. That car not not looking as settled as it did in practice. You can see coming over that washboard, getting up on two wheels as he comes into the front side now. Again, clipping the pipe through the double single. Car gets a little bit out of shape as he lands. And into the option line. Closes right up to the gearbox of uh, Joseph Quagrain now. Oh, Quagrain clipping the pipe. Collects Ronnefolk, but he gets away with it and doesn't need a marshal. You can see now, up on two wheels from Young Fenn in the background. Here comes David again down through the line. So that's going to be heat number one of uh, qualifying round three here at the World Championships.